story that happened like a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, my ex-girlfriend uh, decided to go on with um, a friend of my uncle. Jimela, welcome to another episode of Unscripted. My name is Matawe Matapola. I am blessed. And uh, today I guess you know him, you know him very well. I mean, he came into the scene singing Ama Blesses. Mlindo, the vocalist, welcome to Unscripted. Ah, that's just something. Yeah, very I'm Yes. We're going to be talking uh, bless us, we're going to be talking Usbahe and, and everything about you. Two years ago, did you see yourself to Zobamilana? Um, well, honestly speaking, uh, I am not uh, No, uh, to me, it was just me making music because I enjoyed making music. And uh, I was currently kind of, like studying and so there was a professional one to add, you know, um, other people. But yeah, uh, what were you studying? Uh, 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 I was studying the e degree in education. Mm. Yeah, so I was about teaching. Yeah, mm. uh, uh, yeah, music again. Yeah, the thing is, the music was always there because, like, as a school, you can say because the other thing that people don't know about me, like, I, I don't write songs. Mm. My songs are freestyle. So there will come like a very like awkward moments like between like trying to focus on my books and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then I have a song. Mm -hmm. So once I have that, I have to record it like on my phone or something before I continue with anything. Mm -hmm. So I would study, study, mustn't be a I just focus on my ears. I have a song. So now I can focus on so, like it was really messing with my schoolwork. So mm -hmm. but yeah, music is always been so let's say you are writing your exam, Ingo Male comes to, to your mind. Did you stop writing to make sure you record Leo Ingo Male? What was happening? What I, did you do? I, I have to because the thing is to me, they come like, um, like I have like a rhythm, like this. But it's either like I'm listening to a lecture or who's busy doing a job day. Like this kind of cool room, like let they cool room, I have a little bit of a kind. So like nothing I'm trying to do like that too. So I have to ask you to buy my excuse. It's not going to be my results. I want to hear record the phone. I want to hear record the idea that we are going there and I can start focusing again. Mm -hmm. Problem starts. If you want to record the missing idea and my focus is back, then I have like a second backing. Because like if you listen to my music, like what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. So I get that, like, well, you know, we have to get 8% of the baby. We have to get 8% of the baby. So it was always that. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. But your songs, do, do, do you write them? Do, is it among experiences or is it other people's experiences? What, what inspires Umutu um, I would say some of them are my experiences, uh, what I've been through. And am I, it's just me being able to like, um, put myself in someone else's shoes. Like, uh, I think when we were talking about I I can, like, you then to imagine, it's okay, someone is going through this, this is actually what's going on, like, I, I'm good at that, like, I was going to get to this movie and then come up with the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's never too late to go into acting. Do you think in the future you will actually look into that direction of pursuing acting? Yeah, I'm not sure. 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 So only when there are rules for hysteria, yes. only Lindo is available to do them. Let's talk about uh, Ama Bless. I mean, you've done several interviews where you, you spoke about how the song was inspired by your own personal experience where somebody you loved. Uh, cheer on you with a guy with more money. How did you, you, you deal with that heartbreak? Ah, uh, yeah. That's all. Okay, cool. Um, the thing is, what uh, people don't know that the story happened like a year ago. Oh, so yeah. a year fresh. Yeah, so now, uh, uh, good thing I've recovered everyone. Uh, I'm back. Nice. Good morning, all of So sorry. I know, nice. It's a story that happened like a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, my ex girlfriend uh, decided to go on with um, a friend of my uncle. Yeah. Okay. 
it's not like the right place necessarily, you know, it's just that like where I'm from, you know, like when a guy has a car and mm -hmm. they can afford to buy it has more money buy hair for the girl and what what you know that. So I kinda like felt that situation. I wasn't in Jersey where there's like the what 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 clubs and all that now. Mm -hmm. It was like a situation yes my guy. It's just that the guy afforded more, yeah, you know, at mm -hmm. that time. So yeah. I'm so what is he saying now? Looking at you, uh, where you are, is he regret that you want to come back? Yeah, we move on. 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 Yeah. Would you consider trying to move on? But after that experience, you said Obuti, you don't want to be a blessing. You want to be a blessing to to your family. Um, are you? Do you see this phenomenon or this whole thing of Amma blesses? How do you see it? Do you see it as a wrong thing? Well, um, I, I, I don't want to be like uh, judging my mind. But the thing is that always like stuck in my head. Like, uh, I never understood it. Like, okay, like, it makes sense if I say what sense to me. You see this guy like in the X seats and what, but he's busy with Inga Nina and and what, like, I don't understand. But okay, if you have like an exit and what not, meaning that you have a job that is paying the bills and all that. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. So you want them to leave the young girls alone? But yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. So I would say, Ashimina, I guess it's the end of them, like it's the end thing. So I don't want to be like judgmental and what not like people do whatever they want. But me, you know, for me personally, I don't understand. Because if you have like that much of money, I think like I'm a city who's walking like me, or they could use that rather than look that now, I want to see my money. Yeah, it's You sound bit. like uh, you are a family orientated person. Would you consider in the future to have your own family? Well, yeah, I, mean, I, um, I come from a very big family. My dad is. 13 kids. Yeah, so I. And you are the first, the no. third? Like, you lay upon a mina and back to the five, six. 13 kids from one dead, one mother? Mm. Oh. Yeah, okay. Is he married to more than one wife? No, one wife. Okay, so yeah, married. So, yeah, I would really love to have a big family also. Like, uh, I feel like just me personally. We would be thinking like 13 kids like your dad. I said, was like, give up. Seven uh, Let's talk about Spa. Who's Spa? 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 Who's Thingy that I like, kind of like grew up looking at, like okay, I don't really understand this thing. Like we call it Rusi Sinangani, like Rusi Sinangani. Describe Rusi Sinangani to us. Rusi Sinangani. Let let us have the picture of Rusi Sinangani. Who is Rusi Sinangani? I would say one thing that I can't imagine. I'm not even like on social media, but I'm saying that she can be an amazing player. So okay, we explain Rusi Sinangani. We want to get to know Rusi Sinangani. Like because Rusi Sinangani has been topic and. Who's the lyrics? Who's the just that girl, like, yeah, all from every, like, uh, I'll say, like, every cousin here is who's every township, you can die, like, the Lagosis Lava. Okay, I'm from the Lagosis Lava. Okay, I'm from the Lagosis Lava. I'm from the Lagosis Lava. I'm from the Lagosis Lava. Alright. But who named me? Like, Lagosis Lava, but I'm telling you, like, I'm going to my clap. Like okay, she expects that the fact that she's pretty, she gets away with everything. You know, guys pay for her bills and all that. Then all she has to do is just to pull up with her friends. Always a good time. Every weekend we are females. Always a good time. You don't understand like a truly like her life. She's studying, she's working, but she's always in the club. So at that song, it actually describes that like um, at the end, my pay la ni pay la la because the guy that was actually paying the bills, like was working with the end of the day, paying for the bills, and then when they expect you to buy and I was working with the end of the day, so it's always like just that, like those creepy girls, like those things in the club.
job there, so I took it away with everything. Mm. So in that song, Uspa she ends up like I'm keeping a pee and stuff like that. Um, and then she gets pregnant, and then the guy is forcing her to do an abortion, or else I'm um, gonna mm. And then the song ends like that. Like, you don't know who Uspa who in that guy or not. Mm. So it was just like an awareness thing like that. I just wanted to put out there. Mm. It was like our sisters really need to be like careful about this thing because mm. it's a real thing like I'm most inspired I say yeah, get better and all that so it's a real thing mm. today we might be fine we're going to a club and we're going to be fine then of the day we must understand that it's a risk so uh, that was Mulindo the vocalist uh, thank you so much for coming through